Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe Audition CC 2019. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the Alphonic extension into Adobe Audition so you can process your audio right from Audition to Alphonic. To install the Alphonic extension in Adobe Audition, go to the Window menu and go to Find Extensions on Exchange. First, you want to make sure that you're signed into your Adobe Creative Cloud account. You can come over here to the View by Product and click on Audition to view all of the available extensions for Audition, or you can just search right here for Alphonic. All you need to do is click on it. You can read through all the instructions, and when you're ready, just click on Install. And if you ever want to uninstall it, or if you want to manage all of your extensions, you can click on My Exchange. This will list all of the extensions that you have installed. And all you need to do is click on this Uninstall button. It will remove it from Adobe Audition. When you get back to Audition, you want to restart it. Just close it down by going to the Audition menu, choose Quit, and then reopen Adobe Audition. To find the Alphonic extension, you're going to go back to that Window menu, go to Extensions, and now you'll see this Alphonic Post Production. Go ahead and click on that. Log in with your Alphonic login. And if you are not familiar with Alphonic, I do suggest you click on this to read more about it. It's just a great audio post-production tool. It's a web-based, so it's in the browser. It does a number of things such as leveling, loudness normalization, audio restoration. It's a great last step if you're a podcaster. When you're ready here and you have your login information, you're going to click on the login button. The Alphonic extension works in the waveform view. You can see here, create production from active document. So it's going to use whatever you have open in the waveform view. And it also works in the multi-track. And you can dock this panel. I'm going to bring it right next to my essential sound panel. Give your production a title. I'm just going to give it episode one. I'm going to choose one of my Alphonic presets. If you recently made a new preset and you don't see it on this list, you can click this little refresh button. I'm going to choose my podcast minus 19 LUFS. So what we're going to do is just click on the start production. You can see it is uploading it directly to the Alphonic site. You can download the file. You can preview it. This is episode number one. You can edit the production if there are changes you want to make. So this is the preset that I had here. If you want to change any of the output here, this is an MP3. If you want to change the loudness target, you can do so. And the beauty of this extension is that you don't even have to go to the Alphonic site at all. You can just go to the import. You can click this little refresh and it's going to look for your recent production. So there's that episode one. All I have to do is click on import. It's going to bring it from the Alphonic site into Adobe Audition. This is that file already processed. All I have to do is go to File, Export, and I'm good to go. And that is how you use the Alphonic extension in Adobe Audition. You'll find it up in the window, Extensions, Alphonic Post-Production. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.